This was Ron Foxcroft's dream, to play quarterback for the Hamilton Tiger Cats, just like his idol, Bernie Filoni. But an injury took the dream away. I hurt my back, and I thought, oh my God, I got no reason to go on with sports, no reason to continue in school. And uh, so I turned to officiating, first uh, baseball, then fastball, and then basketball. As a referee, Ron's path in basketball officiating didn't exactly get off to a good start. Tom Gallagher came over from the CYO to pay me my 75 cents and he said, um, we want change because you're rotten and you're never going to make it. I said, it wasn't funny at the time, it's today's humor. Uh, it was yesterday's anguish and uh, that motivated me. With nowhere to go but up, Ron worked hard and was rewarded by being selected to work the 1976 Olympics in Montreal. That's when Ron was met by his peers with arrogance and hatred. You can't ref this game, you're only getting one game. Lo and behold, I ended up getting 11 games in the Olympics, including the gold medal game. After the Olympics, Ron's skills and passion for officiating were noticed and he was asked to work collegiate basketball, which Ron did for more than 25 years in nine Division I conferences. Ron officiated collegiate basketball with dedication, pride, and integrity, which Coach Jack Armstrong saw. Ron was a really good official uh, because when, when you got him on your game, you knew that, number one, he was going to hustle, he was going to work, he has a good attitude, uh, you could talk to him. Uh, you could have a conversation with him, yet uh, behind that smile, uh, he's a very tough guy. And then when the time came where enough was enough, he'd tell you. And, uh, you know, so there's a, a, you know, there's a line that he would draw, yet uh, he was always someone that when you'd see him before the game and, you know, the referees come over and shake hands with the coaches and, uh, you know, how he greeted you, how he carried himself, how he presented himself. It was always, you looked at that guy, you say, that guy's first class. While Ron was officiating, he noticed a common problem that put him on a path which would change his life forever. The pee whistle would continually fail while he was officiating. After his well-being was endangered because of his ineffective pee whistle, Ron made it his mission to invent a whistle that would revolutionize not only sports officiating, but the world as we know it. Ron helped design and develop the Fox 40. Using a three-chamber design, the Fox 40 eliminated the problems presented by an ordinary whistle. However, what Ron didn't know is how the Fox 40 would be used in other areas besides sports officiating. Dog commanding, police, military, lifeguard, and boat safety just to name a few. Ron has also never forgotten his roots and his sense of community. Every year, Ron contributes time and energy for the greater good for the people of Hamilton, Ontario, the Royal Majesty Guard, and other organizations around the world. You know, what Ron means to our community is, um, he means passion. He means commitment. He means uh, partnership community mobilization, he's a builder, he's a giver. Um, and when I say giving, he gives in so many different ways, from giving of his own personal time, his talents, uh, and, of, and of course his financial gifts. He is the cornerstone, or a cornerstone most definitely, of our community. Well, Ron served as the co-chair of the largest fundraising campaign in our hospital's history. Uh, so he believed in uh, what we were doing for health care in the community. He believed in our vision and he was able to bring his passion and his motivating presence uh, and his, his focus on giving back and that inspired others in the community to believe in our vision. Our campaign was a tremendous success. We raised over 87 million dollars and Ron was, uh, played a leadership role in making that happen. Well Ron chaired our fundraising campaign at McMaster for our new athletics complex and stadium. Uh, it was a $43 million uh, campaign which we surpassed. Uh, Ron, the Fox dude, he means to city kids um, faithfulness, um, auth he's authentic, he's genuine, he's probably the most genuine um, 
person who supports so many other organizations other than City Kids. He's very proud to be a referee. He gives back to the referees um, now, all the young kids coming up. He never ever left it. Um, NASO is a very uh, important aspect of his life. He's very proud to be a member of the NASO. For all those things, Ron Foxcroft joins an elite group that only a few officials have joined, NASO Gold Whistle Award recipients. Hello, Ron. Uh, I want to congratulate you to receiving the NASO Award. You are the man who make the whistle Fox 40 with really good news for the officiating and especially for the referees. Thank you very much and thank you very much to be also not only just a splendid ambassador of uh, officiating but also of partnership in FIBA. Congratulations Ron on behalf of the Hamilton Board of Approved Basketball Officials uh, to you and all your family, Marie, Steve and Dave, Ronnie, JD and Carson. We all know how important family is to you, and uh, we're really excited that you've welcomed all of us, officials that have crossed your path over the years into your extended family. So on behalf of all of us in the officiating community, congratulations. I'm Steve Foxcroft, Ron's favorite son. I've been refereeing basketball for 36 years and a member of the Buffalo Bills chain crew for 22 years. I'm Dave Foxcroft, Ron's favorite son. I've been refereeing football for 34 years, the last 17 years in the Canadian Football League. I'm Ronnie Foxcroft, I'm Ron's favorite son, and I've been refereeing basketball for seven years. I'm Carson Foxcroft, Ron's favorite grandson, and this is my first year refereeing basketball. I'm J.D. Foxcroft, I'm Ron's favorite grandson, and I've been refereeing football for four years. I'm Ross Foxcroft, and I'm Ron's favorite brother, and I've been refereeing football for 24 years. I'm Mike Foxcroft, Ron's favorite nephew, and I've been refereeing football for 23 years. Congratulations, Ron, on your Gold Whistle Award.